Welcome back everyone to the HWBOT World Series 2016 and we're going straight into the amateur final. I'm Truthman, your host for these competitions and I've been joined with Ligoft Albrecht that would be our technical expert. Hey Ligoft, how are you doing? Still fine man, I just had some nice roasted chicken so uh, going to make the guys at the, the Twitch channel a bit hungry. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I, I I had the information that we can go straight to the competition because uh, Christian Day, the judge, is ready. Christian Day, we can hear you now. Yeah, we're ready. You ready as well? Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, go. So the amateur competition is off now. 13, first set of first leg of this final. 15 minutes on one platform then swap places and go 15 minutes on the other setup. So indeed, this to rule out if one setup should clock a little bit better or higher than the other one. So the guy's so already in the windows, and if we have a first score already... Not yet, no, no. So we have Maché against Olivier Apex. These two guys, we fight for some hardware. Indeed, they can, can almost win like an entire setup truth. Ma yeah, motherboard, so they can memory, win, uh, and PSU. Z170A motherboard and the um, Z170A motherboard from ASUS. They can win one of the. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, uh, ASUS Z170A motherboard. They can win a uh, 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 Sonic PSU P760 watt. It's exactly the same one they are using now. And of course, they will go back home with one exam, uh, one uh, prototype of the uh, Open Bench Table project by Stricom and uh, OCTV and HWBot. So and one kit of DDR4 as well. Yeah, I already saw 1,444 score for Machai, is that correct? Yes, uh, the score is being updated as we're speaking, and here you go. So Machai at 1414, and Olivier Apex at 1444. Oh, no, actually, that's the other way around. Yeah, indeed, so it's already like a, a big step in, in the right direction, in fact. They're going straight for, for high frequencies and they're not wasting any time. I already saw like some thermal throttling on Machai setup, but it still managed to do a few loops on the XTU high enough to be able to produce a score. So we had a question on the Twitch channel from PooFan42. So he, he probably likes yellow cuddly bears, eh? looking at his, his nickname. And indeed, he's going also for his first steps into the overclocking. So PooFan, the thing that you're seeing now is the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility I talked to you about on the Twitch channel. It's like a stress testing tool for your setup. And you can easily detect how your setup is running. If it crashes... It probably needs a little bit more V-Core, but the interesting part here for daily overclocks is you can read out the temperatures as well. Plus, you can manage to see if you the system throttles. With throttling, it means it goes into a sort of safe mode and it downclocks your overclock again. So the system or the setup will not be damaged. So in fact, it's like, call it a safeguard for your CPU and all the other components on in your PC which are being overclocked. And as on the screen you can see Matcha is actually going into the settings. Uh, maybe he's trying to see if he can uh, put XTU in a, in a higher settings, a priority settings. Uh, maybe. Indeed, this is, this is one of the tweaks that you can do for XTU. Indeed, is to put the real-time process on. So sometimes it can boost a little bit the total score. But I don't know uh, where he got that info from. But indeed, he's looking for it, and he's probably trying to max it out. Olivier Apex running into a little bit of trouble with his setup. Trying to figure out what is going on. So a question from the, on the Twitch from Sergeant Bilko88. Slow-mo tweak. Well, I don't think that these guys have been totally into the picture of, of everything. You have to look at it like this. You don't know anything about overclocking and during a 30-minute tutorial, you'll get, let's say, the small info that you're able to be given in, in, in that short of time. And they also had like 30 minutes to qualify. So they didn't have like that much, let's say, expert tweaks on, on, on what to do. Probably they will talk to other overclockers and maybe the extreme guys which are present nearby. <coughs> just to have the, the small tweaks, tips, or tricks. 
So Matcha is slowly improving, 14 and 19 at the moment, but still trailing Olivier Apex, which has raised or set the level at 1,444 points. Quite impressive, and both guys are straight near, let's say, what we think is the the max for these CPUs on air cooling. So they're cooled by an entry-level Cooler Master Hyper 212 type air tower cooler. So you see that the package temperature is already around 90 degrees and on the other setup even higher, which was thermally throttling. They don't we want are. to waste time. They want to go home with the hardware prices truth, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Well, I just discussed with... Uh, actually, Match I just before the, uh, we went back on the live and he told me like, you know, I tried once to overclock my system. It was a mis miserable failure and just because I didn't know where to start from and how to do it and says, yeah, I, th I will definitely do it once I go back home and, and, <laughs> and do it on my system because now I know I have the base and he told me like, there's so much I can still learn. I told him, yeah, of course, but you, can teach, you can't teach people for like five hours you, you can over the weekend if they really dedicated to that. So yeah. that's what Orion 24 did uh, after last uh, last year uh, Gamers Assembly event. Yeah, I'm just going to answer a few questions again from from Poofan42, Truthman. I know you guys did like the Slacker videos, no? For uh, let's let's say the 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 basic principles of overclocking. I think Tim did that together with BK. Is that correct? The scatter bencher and if you the type scatter bencher that was exclamation it. mark how to you will have the link on the live chat. So Poo42, just look at the link that Truthman will give you on the Twitch channel and he will link you straight to the Slacker video which will explain you how it works to overclock your CPU. And it takes like, I don't know, five minutes video or something, but you get the basics. Another question that we had Blue from... Blue screen! From Transmit and Niven Lego, what would you say is a dangerously high CPU temp? Well, for my daily setup, I want to stay no matter what the load is around 80 degrees. Now, you have to think if your CPU is 80 degrees, the cooler maybe dumps the heat inside the case. All your other components will get hotter as well. And is it useful to overclock, your, let's say, your setup 4,500 megahertz or 4,600 megahertz? I think for gaming or such, it's not beneficial. Your overall performance will be better, but you will not get like a 5 frames per second increase by overclocking your CPU another 100 megahertz. There's always, always what we call a sweet spot for a CPU. So it could be that your CPU almost doesn't need any voltage increase, let's say going from 4,300 to 4,500 megahertz, but you see that the temperatures might scale up way higher, then you have to find like the balance. I always talk about balance, about CPU speed, temperature, and voltage. Those three variables, you have to keep them in mind and, and I would say around 80 degrees max for daily usage. It's it's so that, it's a good good safe temperature. That was a question from uh, Onishan0222. Uh, can you me can you me what is an OCR? So an OCR is an overclocker. So that's someone doing overclocking. You can be an amateur overclocker or you can be an extreme overclocker. And of course, this uh, the only difference is be the amount of time you will dedicate to that, as well as the kind of cooling you will be using. So, in fact, what we want to do, in fact, here Onishan zero two 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 is indeed is just get some extra performance. So, from our setups, Intel has these KSQ CPUs, AMD has their FX CPUs, and they have like a free unlocked multiplier and you can increase the multiplier via software tools in the windows or if you can if they, let's say you're a little bit more expert you can change the multiplier as well in the bios what does it generate normally we see here today 6700k i7 cpus from intel they run stock at 4000 megahertz and we see the guys clocking them up to 4700 megahertz Maybe not ideal for daily usage, but 4,500 megahertz should be easily doable on all CPUs. And which means you get 500 megahertz for free. Okay, you might draw a little bit more eh, current from the socket from the wall, but it's n not that much. And it's still safe. It's still safe. That's the most important thing. People always associate overclocking with killing stuff. This there is are not always true limits, anymore. But it's this a myth. Is, this is we call not it a myth. Anymore. So, 
keep in mind that overclocking is super safe as long as you don't kick out all the safety features and that you're not using liquid nitrogen. Once you go liquid nitrogen, yes, it's becoming actually uh, a little bit more touchy for your system, but otherwise it's all fine. And Olivier, Apex has raised the bar again, going 14.50 now, while Machai still struggles to improve his 14.20 score at this moment. And we have already been 10 minutes in this first half of the semi of the final of the HWBOT World Series for Amateur here in North America. This is going super fast. This is going super fast. So the guys are clocking. Let's do a, a, a roll call of, uh, of the settings. Machai, that is actually uh, the contender here, is running at... Uh, 102 BCLK frequency, 1.5 volt for the core voltage, and 47s as the multiplier. But there's something definitely uh, wrong on the system. You're gonna have to uh, restart the benchmark. And if we look at Olivier Apex, Olivier Apex is running at 102.5 BCLK, 1.41 volt for the voltage, the core voltage, and 46 multiplier. So this gives him about 4.7 gigahertz in total frequency. It's about 90 to 94 degrees in uh, C, uh, package temperature, so the CPU is around uh, 94, 95 degrees. Benchmark is running, and we will have a score for that. Yeah, and it was also a remark on by Vidoru94 Truthman about overclocking and crisis indeed is risky because games are very dependent on stability as well. What you're seeing here is just stability on the memory-wise and CPU-wise. But when you're gaming, you're also throwing in the graphics card as a bundle. If you also push the graphics card a little bit higher with the software tools, indeed, during gaming, the, the most stressful thing that can happen indeed is you're playing multiplayer games, you're in a map which lasts like 30 minutes, and... At a five, let's say five minutes from the end, you're in top of the ranking and your system just blue screens, reboots, locks up. Indeed, and that's difficult. You have to thoroughly test your stability when you overclock just to make sure oh, it runs. Oh, and we got a blue screen for match eight. Talking about blue screen? <laughs> <laughs> Blue screens, I hope. Oh, hope. You should so much see the face of Christian Ney. It's like, oh my God. Oh man, you're still oh. doing it. You're still doing it. Christian A really has to adapt to us, Truthman, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> but he's the judge, so you can't, you know, you, you can't say anything. You have the well, last thing. He has no control on the live stream. He can only control the guys on the table. That's where it ends. His area of responsibility is just the table. He cannot mess with you, man. Yeah. That's one way of seeing it. <laughs> so, we have Olivier Apex. 14.22 not improving is best score of 14.50. It actually started quite high, and it started um, like higher than some of the guys from the first semi-final that were stuck at like 14.42 and 14.44. Indeed, but he was like uh, going into the, the 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 tweaking details that we we told about about the XTU. Indeed, is is putting down the the real time processes, but maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe it's better to reboot now instead of run, rerun, run, rerun, and then still staying stuck at the 1420-ish. The maybe he said something wrong, and maybe it degrades now the performance of the setup. But there's only 2 minutes and twenty and 10 seconds left in this final, uh, first part of the final of the HWBOT World Series for Amateur. So if he start to reboot, he will lose some precious time, some precious seconds, at least 20 seconds to uh, shut down the system, reboot, and make sure that you can launch 60 again and adjust the setting. This is some precious time that you can lose every time you reboot or crash. Now we have a, a tricky question on, on Twitch, Truth. Anderson wants to know which processor was the best one made for overclocking. Do we dare to answer that? I can't answer it. It comes down to personal preferences. Yeah, me too, I it, think. It yeah. depends a lot on what you're looking for. If you're looking for performances or just raw frequency of uh, easeability, uh, the, taking the easiest one to overclock. There's definitely no uh, no right answer for that. And I could, I could, you, I could give you one. But I'm pretty sure that half of the extreme overclockers on the left side will disagree with. So, Indeed. We have a better score from Matchai now, 1442. So we're only trailing eight points with Olivier Apex. Maybe he is on the roll now and proving me wrong that it's maybe better to run, rerun, instead of comment what, what I'd said before and, and just do a reboot. So maybe he just raised a little bit more B-clock and, and trying to 
finally get close to Olivier Apex. Would be fun to see if these guys can really match it out till the final seconds. We have 50 seconds left in this first part of the HWBOT World Series for Amateur here in North America. We are at the LAN ETS, the biggest LAN party in Canada. And we are seeing a match between Matt Che and Olivier Apex to know who will be declared the champion of the HWBOT World Series for Amateur North America. And it is the first street movement that get a prize, correct? Indeed. 1,400... 44 for Macha is improving by two points is previous score and there is 15 minutes 15 seconds left in this uh, first leg so they have to run the benchmark before the end of the timing 8 7 6 5 4 make them run the benchmark oh so that's too late for Olivier Apex. Olivier Apex did not run the benchmark before the end of the timer, but Matchai is still having a chance to uh, to to go in the lead for this first leg. He need to go at 14:50 or at least higher than that. Oh, oh it, it crashed. crashed! Crashed! It crashed! So that's so sad. So we're going to the second part of this uh, of this final of the HW, HWS for amateur in North America. So far, Olivier Apex is six point in the lead of Maché. So they will exchange the system, go on the uh, on the other side, get ready for it, and they can start again. Uh, the total amount of points they would uh, be putting on the scoreboard will decide who will be the champion of the HWBOT World Series here in North America. Indeed, so a very, very tight battle now with only six points difference, which is like, Way better than, than the other semi-final we saw before where Olivier Apex pulled off the 1466 score, which is like really impressive. So let's see if he can pull that one off again. And that would make him the overall winner. But typically an overclocking indeed. Okay, this is not extreme one, but still you have to keep track of everything. You only have 15 minutes. Match I know is when I need to do way better than my previous score and I really need to get them down. We go to Christian for the... We'll go to Christian in a second for the uh, launch of this second leg. I think Christian, Christian, can you can you hear us? Yes, I can. Perfect, we can so hear you, you as well. You guys ready? Perfect. So, oh wait a second. C'est bon? Alors, five, four, three, two, one, go. So we're off for the second leg of the final of the Amateur World Series here in LAN ETS in Canada. Where we have a match between Matt Shai and Olivier Apex. So what will happen is now they just swap setups and we'll just add the two XTU scores to have a total. Matt Shai need to get at least six points higher score just to match Olivier Apex. It sounds like eight packs. Yeah, maybe he has an in the eight packs is like isn't it like some some thing in racing where you have to have the the right turn in point for for a turn and then the outcome and the ideal point where you in the turn is the apex. Like, isn't you, that you something mean the, like that? Uh, optimized line of taking the the curve or yeah, maybe he does something like karting or something. Maybe he got it from there. Maybe we should do it next time. Like, why did you choose this nickname? Where does it come from? That would be sometimes some 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 nice information. So first score there, fourteen seventeen, up into the total. Fourteen seventeen for Olivier Apex. We'll see uh, what this uh, how how this can uh, can help out. So he's in the lead for now. Oh, oh. blue screen. Oh, double blue screen blue for screen. the second time today. Double blue screen. This is, uh, I love it. I love it. You really should give them a cap, Truffman. That's really <laughs> nice that they do. Man, this. it's like all the extreme overclockers just stop <laughs> what they were doing. Like turn, on, turn, look at him. It's like, oh, what the hell is he hell. doing? Yeah, this is something that can happen. No problem. Hopefully the windows will recover, reboot, and it will all be fine again. Even Christian A is getting amused now. 
That <laughs> <laughs> thing is getting on his nerves. Nah. That's it. Both of the overclockers are now back in the system. So we have Olivier Apex 102 PCLK frequency. Uh, CPU core voltage at 1.4. Come on, you can push it higher. Push it higher. There's a way to for you to push it like 1.47. This is actually getting better. Getting better for the BCLK as well. 102.5. 46 multiplier. And running the benchmark. Thank you, Poofan42, for the follow. Thank you very much. We now have the two overclickers running the benchmark. So far, Machai doesn't have any score yet on the scoreboard. But he will soon have one. He's benching at 4.68 gigahertz. Yeah, and this is the fun thing indeed. They, they, I think they were like aware that the setups haven't been swapped for the final, so they were still aware like, okay, we could do almost close to 4.7 or slightly a little bit above. Oh, we have a big score again. Matchai now. 14.66 for Matchai. This is great score. This he's, is catched, he's already like exploding the score from Olivia Apex on the same system just before. So this would give him a nice, uh, a, a nice lead. Yeah, this would give him the lead in, in this competition uh, here in the final. So he will be reaching 2,900 points. Or even more, 2,910. Olivier Apex improved his score from 14 up to 1428. He's at 4.71 GHz and is rerunning the benchmark, just increasing by 0 0.05 the BCLK. Yeah. Olivier Apex needs to do the same as Machai. Just get like a big score in and then hopefully he can he can match it for him. Because he did the 1466 as well in the semi-final, so maybe he can pull it off again in the final. You can see that uh, Matcha is actually at 4.68 gigahertz, while Olivia Apex is at 4.71, and Matcha still have a better score. So this will give him a quite a quite nice lead in the, in this. You can see pushing 1.45 volts. Usually around 1.45, 1.48 uh, volts, you usually hit the limit on uh, on this motherboard. Uh, when you have all the safety features activated, you won't be able to go that much, that much higher. Uh, of course, this is to protect your hardware and system. Oh, blue screen! The smiley, uh, the sad smiley face from, uh, <laughs> from the blue screen. Indeed, but he's trying to push the, the, the B clock a little bit higher now. We're seeing with, with, with Olivier Apex, he... Still pushing it slowly, slowly above, and it just oh no, it crashed. It couldn't run. The CPU don't do like 4.8 gigahertz. It's 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 nearly impossible. Maybe they have to do the same tactic at, as Matchai was trying to do: lower the multiplier to 46 and just try to go a little bit higher on the B clock. So the main reason why, if you increase the B clock for everyone that just joined uh, on, the, on on Twitch, the main reason why you would reduce the multiplier but increase the B clock, it's just because this is used by different components on on the motherboard and will also increase the memory frequency and and all this. So you will have uh, the system, all the part of the system will work faster, just not the CPU, but like the complete part of the system will do it. Yeah, and this is a typical thing that you have to be aware of when you're overclocking, in fact. Okay, these are just the amateurs, but we have like, I don't know, uh, dozens of benchmarks, and each benchmark is dependent on maybe raw CPU speed, maybe memory frequency, maybe a combination of the two, maybe you need to have like the right driver, and these are all the things that you have to pretest when you want to overclock at a really high level. So usually the preparation time is like 10 times more than the effective benching time that you will do under liquid nitrogen, for example. A lot of pre-testing goes in. These high scores or world records that you can find on hwbot.org are not something which is done like in under five minutes, usually. We saw last year at Computex, you still remember uh, Der Bauer and 8-Pack doing the quad as a line roofing with the Titan X cards. They ran it like for five days, I think, before they had like a world record. Uh, 
we can see that on match eye screen is thermal the thermal throttling is activated is at 100 degrees so oh. when people say oh my cpu is at 70 degrees is that too too high or or can i burn my cpu is like come on you can run at 100 degrees it will actually with the safety activated it will just just throttle itself so there's the not much risk anyway mm. But indeed, it's like we said before, the XTU is not a requirement to do like a full smooth run. So it, it's divided, I don't know, in how many different small steps. And it only needs to, oops, go, Truthman, go. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Blue, Blue screen. screen. I still have to practice that one. <laughs> but if, if it can only run like one loop or two loops and you can get like a score. So that's also why we talked about the slow mode tweak. Slow mode tweak indeed is like you're really pushing it hard. You can push or flip a switch, and what it tells the system, in fact, is that the CPU was overheating, so it will throttle down to, I think it was 1600 megahertz or something with uh, with Skylake, and you can just complete the benchmark at 1600 megahertz. It has been part very useful, in fact, for the extreme guys. If you could do like five to ten seconds in XTU, flip that switch, it would take a long time before the benchmark finishes but at least it didn't crash plus you had two or three loops at a very high frequency giving you a total score so the benchmark is what we call tweakable as well so still 2910 for Matt Chai and Olivier Apex trying to do his best to catch up so they go as low as uh, 800 megahertz Sergeant Biko 88 I lost a little bit track because I n almost never used like those speed step features might have to check my CPU as well. There's six minutes left in this final of the amateur for the HWS North America. Here at the LAN ETS, uh, we have a match against Machai and Oliver Apex. Who of the two will win, be declared the champion of the HWS World Series for amateur? Good questions, and we will know that in the next 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So far, Machai is in the lead with 2,910 points, while Ovi Apex is uh, following closely by 2,878 points. Still, this is going to be very hard for Olivia Apex to come back in the lead, but everything can happen, except that we are having another blue screen! So indeed, maybe some questions on the, the, the Twitch channel. I think maybe the first one, is it possible to overclock an i7-930? Of course it is. You can overclock almost anything. And the thing you have to take into consideration is your current CPU speed is built up of two factors, which is the CPU multiplier and then what we call the base clock. Your CPU is maybe 28 multiplied by 100. And on that platform, you can even go as, 100, as, as high as 200 B-clock. But you have to maybe read up their good sites like overclock.net, which have like a lot of very useful information. If you just Google it, overclock your i7-930, that upon, you will find a lot of information how to do it slowly and steadily. Another question, when the extreme overclock begins, after this final, we will have the final of the extreme guys. So 30 minutes of fame or pain for those guys. Flanker. Yeah. We have four minutes left in this HWBot World Series for Amateur. The move on from Machai or oh, Olivier Apex will win. So far we are seeing uh, Machai benching is at about 4.69 gigahertz and is trying to get the best score in XTU. You need to, you, if you want, you can improve his score of 1466. That would be hard. That's, this is one of the best score we have seen uh, for, for this amateur competition today. Indeed, if my math is correct, he needs to pull off at least a 1460 score just to equal match I score. And, and what is the, the thing if they have like a draw, Truthman? Will the, the, the let's say, the, the final be extended with five minutes or is there like a best of score? If, if this happens, we will queue in to, uh, to the judge and the judge will explain exactly what will happen. But it never happened so far. So this is not needed to uh, to have the uh, the things. I think Maybe that this will be a first. The... Yeah, we'll see. 
we will see. So let's, uh, you can see that the two, uh, the two amateurs now, Machai and Olivier Apex are benching. Uh, Olivier Apex is having some terminal throttling. He's benching at 4.76 gigahertz. Is at 1.48 volt, 47 multiplier. Oh, blue screen from Machai. So that upon still on the i7 930. So Olivier Apex at the moment not improving his score 1425. So still trailing three points. He needs to do at least a 1460 to be competitive and maybe do like what we call a sudden death or whatever the rule is if they have both equal scores. For that upon, uh, it will. I can tell you the the, the the person with the IO 60 U score will win, and if in case they all have the same exact score, uh, that will be Christian deciding. Mm -hmm. So there is about 1 minute and 52 seconds left in this HWBOT World Series. Uh, let's see what, uh, if Christian have to say something about that. Christian, we can hear you. How is the competition going in these 2 minutes left? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, there's 1 minute 30 left and I think uh, he needs uh, to... He, will, he has to be really lucky to... To improve like 40 points out of nowhere. But everything yeah. can happen, we will tune everything into Everything can happen, yeah. Yeah, we will tune into you just at the end of on, the countdown. On, mm. on the left, he, he's still pushing. He, he wants a higher score. No. But it's not coming out, it's 1417 now, so his scores are in fact dropping. So maybe he needs to run, rerun, and fingers crossed for eventually maybe that lucky run that will give him 1460. Oh, oh blue screen! Oh, I love this. So, so far, Machai that you have on the screen, there is 45 seconds left and he's still benching, still benching, trying to improve his core, while Olivier Apex is losing some precious time. He's losing some precious seconds by restarting the system because it crashed. Uh, this is part of the game. This is, of course, this final of the amateur for the HWBOT World Series. He doesn't have that much time left to reboot, but he, anyway, if he just gets like second spot, it's not that bad either. It's better to win, to be number one, but second spot and even third spot, they still get some nice hardware prizes. So they so will go far. home not empty handed. Machai is in the lead. There is six, five, four. There's just a few seconds left. Two, one, zero. I think we have a winner. Indeed. You do have a winner, Match A. Match A is the winner of the HWBOT World Series North America here at the LAN ETS. This ah. was a night battle between the two guys. Whoa, this is like boxing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> No, very cool game. In fact, uh, very well played, and and both guys like close to the 2,900 mark for Olivier Apex and Machai, even besting Olivier Apex previous best of 2,899 with another 11 points. So very well done for Machai. I think uh, a really well deserved winner. Well, indeed, that was a quite good, a quite interesting match, and both of these amateur Machai and Olivier Apex didn't knew that much about overclocking just two days ago. So these are the people that we train for 30 minutes and then uh, experience the, uh, you know, the, uh, the 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 you know, the overclocking by themselves in uh, in here. And we will be tuning in for the next final in the next few minutes. Uh, we'll take uh, about 15 minutes break and we'll come back for the uh, extreme finals. This is the HWBOT World Series 2016 North America. We are at the LAN ETS, the biggest LAN party in Canada. And it's always a pleasure to have you on board. If you have any questions, you can ask them on the live chat here on Twitch because we will be answering your questions even during the break.